alcohol. Yes. Uh -huh. Blood alcohol content. Yes. Is the percentage of alcohol in your blood is usually determined by a breath or blood test. Oh. Now, you can be arrested for DUI with BAC and THC marijuana. <laughs> Levels lower than the legal limit if you're driving and impaired due to alcohol or drugs. Yes. Now, you can, you can be arrested for driving with blood alcohol content of 0.08 or more, ouch, ouch, or THC marijuana level of 5 nanograms per liter of blood or higher. <laughs> now, if you're under the age of 21, you can also be arrested for BAC of 0.02 or more, or THC marijuana level of more than 0 0.00 nanograms per milliliter of blood. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> I just wanted those wireless devices. <laughs> Does a breathalyzer? Yes. Does it wirelessly broadcast back to the police department? Yeah. <laughs> that an individual has a point, uh, uh, zero 0.08 or greater amount of blood alcohol content? <laughs> you know, I thought about it. Let's say a 255-pound man. Yes. Were to drink, yes, the exact same amount of alcohol as a 150-pound man. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to make sure because I think fatter people have more blood than skinny people. When you're doing the blood alcohol content test, yes, mm -hmm. is there availability of setting the weight of the individual less than or more than the actual weight of the person that you're doing the breathalyzer for? Now, let's say you said I was 225 pounds. Yes, I was driving along in a, on an expired license. Pooch, you smell uh, alcohol on my breath. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. And uh, you entered in 225 pounds as my actual weight. Yes. Now, having been drinking, I would have guesstimated that my actual blood alcohol content was below the 0 .08 because I'm 30 pounds heavier than the actual weight on my driver's license. <laughs>